The perfect flight over the Golden Gate Bridge across San Francisco Bay. A dream that for most of us can only come true in virtual reality. But even this is difficult to achieve. Technology has its limitations, and to fully enjoy this virtual experience, one needs a field of vision of at least 60 degrees. Multiple projector screens are used to increase the field of vision. Images are projected on flat screens arranged end to end in circular formation. For technical reasons, there is always image overlap, and when screens are arranged in a curve, the image becomes distorted at the scenes. But now, the Institute for Computer Architecture at the University of Hagen has developed a multi-projector panorama display system which uses inexpensive standard equipment. But first, let's take a look at the initial problem. If one wants to use multiple projectors for creating a large seamless image, one has to solve two problems. First, due to the curved areas in the projection surface, there are distortions of the projections because the projectors are designed for planar projection surfaces. Second, in the overlapping areas, double images will be present because matching pixels of two projectors are projected to different positions. It is too difficult to correct this manually. So what can be done to solve these problems? As part of his graduate thesis, Peter Eisenlohr has succeeded in making some major developments to the software used in panorama projections. To calibrate the display, I use a camera placed at the center of the partially curved canvas. It registers the local distortions of the projections. I have to take several overlapping shots because the camera can only capture a small fraction of the overall view. To compensate the geometrical distortions in the curved regions, correction masks move the pixels towards the opposite direction of the detected distortions. The new software developed by Peter Eisenlohr combines display calibration and panorama stitching technique. Eisenlohr's technology allows four computers to communicate with a fifth, which acts as a central control. Each computer is responsible for one part of the total image with the necessary geometrical corrections and edge blending. Before this, there is a calibration phase in which structured light patterns are projected on the curved surface and the distortions recorded with a camera. The appropriate corrections can then be computed from the information thus gained. The distorted borders of the images are pre-warped in the opposite direction, which produces a perfect, undistorted panoramic image. But is this technology good for anything other than flights over San Francisco Bay? Panoramic displays are used in all kinds of simulations by which the operation of airplanes, vehicles or even ships is strained. Also, there are interesting applications in medicine. For example, a panoramic display can visualize the recordings of computer tomography. Like flying through the body in a tiny shuttle, a doctor could inspect the organs of his patient from any conceivable viewpoint. Another area of application is architecture. The panoramic display could be used to render the inside of buildings that only exist on drawing board, and the architect's clients can walk through buildings long before they are built. A similar application would be walking through Google Streets using a V-balance board. Finally, I can imagine that immersive movies could provide a really exciting experience by allowing the viewer to freely look around in the scenes. This is technology with real future. The Institute of Computer Architecture sees it that way too and is planning to develop it further. We are currently developing a portable panoramic display with three projectors that could be set up anywhere in less than an hour. We expect that it will be completed by the end of this year. We will also integrate new applications and think that users will soon see the tremendous potential that this new visualization technology offers.
what can now only be experienced in the basement of the Institute of Computer Architecture at the University in Hagen will become reality for everybody in the near future. The perfect flight over San Francisco Bay and the Golden Gate Bridge.